Well, at the moment, she has every intention of doing so. The view from 10 Downing Street is that the old Chancellor has been replaced, that the Prime Minister has listened, and that the international markets are sanguine again about the UK economy and its fortunes. But the speculation says differently. The media coverage has already priced in a departure. Too many MPs have spoken privately to too many journalists, and the energy to remove Liz Truss is very real. Well, the prospect of a new election campaign is so remote that it can be ruled out. No one wants a repeat of this drawn out summer we've just had. Anointing a new leadership team would demand real organisation and leadership within a party that is riven with division. And Liz Truss's allies, and there are some, will attack any momentum to have her removed. A coup of any sort would need a cast iron guarantee of smooth success before it stood any chance of happening. Well, would Chancellor Jeremy Hunt take over when he's already failed at the leadership twice himself? Rishi Sunak, one of those former finance ministers, still has bridges to build after his fallout with Boris Johnson. Penny Mordaunt, now leader of the Commons, is a possible candidate, but running the UK at the moment has all the signs of being a losing game. So without the right support within that divided party, remember, none of these candidates is likely to make a move.